I'm shocked. This is my shocked face. And this is Take That with Kurt Schlichter. So Nathan Phillips, the little drummer guy, turns out not to be the Vietnam War hero. Now, the media was milking it. Elizabeth Warren actually went up and said, Oh, there you a war vet. What war? The Cold War, it turns out, because he was a refrigerator repairman in the Marine Corps Reserve out in Topeka, Kansas for four years. That is, when he wasn't going AWOL. How do we know? Because some citizen journalists went and got what's called his DD-214. A DD-214 is your record of military service. Every vet has it. When I'm sitting in my office, it's literally six feet away. And right now, it's on my phone. I can dial it up. It's that important. So he'd obviously have it. Could the mainstream media be bothered to go get it? Nah. Why interfere with a good story. Why tell the truth when you can push the liberal lie? Ugh. This whole stolen valor thing is utterly mortifying to me. Okay, I'm a veteran. I was 27 years in. And let me emphasize here, I didn't do nothing. All my medals were for perfect attendance. I showed up. I did my job. Hey, at one point, I ran a heavily armed car wash. Gosh, I was in personnel for a little while. I did public affairs for a little while. I also commanded a recon, surveillance, and target acquisition battalion in the uh, in the reserves. So, I mean, you know, you, you sometimes in a military career, you do things that aren't super cool and high speed. Nothing wrong with that. See, here's the thing. Nathan Phillips had nothing to be ashamed about. Re re refrigerator repairmen are important. I'll tell you, I was in, I was in the Gulf War. I, I liked having refrigerator repairmen out there. Uh, even Blumenthal, that, you know, Da Nang Dick, the, the lying sack of a uh, Democrat senator who uh, 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 had, had to make a, he, he did Marine Corps time in the United States during the Vietnam era, but he had to say he was in Vietnam. Why do they do that? It's mortifying. There's nothing wrong with what they did. It's not dishonorable. Oh, yeah, sometimes among the military, we'll make fun of each other. Ah, you're a jag, you're a whatever. But that's, you know, that's just guys busting it with each other. At the end of the day, man, you serve whether you turn a wrench or pull a trigger. You serve. And there's nothing wrong with it. You just don't make a big thing out of it. But this guy, he had to lie, and it's mortifying. I'm not mad at him. I'm not angry. I'm sad. Because he took something that was perfectly honorable, for which he was entitled to due respect, and he crumpled it up in a little ball and threw it in the waste can. Because it wasn't enough for him. Well, look, everybody's not Audie Murphy. Most people are not Audie Murphy. Now, I've met guys who are like Audie Murphy, and they're few and far between. And here's a little giveaway. They usually don't tell you they're like Audie Murphy. It's the quiet ones who'll get you. The guys that sitting at the bar going, well, you know, when I was in the stuff as a recon beret, SEAL ranger, you know, airborne guy of action. And he's like, nah. You see his DD-214, and he's going to be a clerk typist in a, uh, you know, a, a food service company. And again, nothing wrong with being a clerk typist in a food service company. You need clerk typists in food service companies, and you, and you need food service companies. Troops like to eat. Never underestimate logistics. We bust on logistics, guys, but they're important. Everybody's important in the military. But you don't have to make it into something you're not. It's, it's horrifying to me. It's just, and, and, and you know what? I, I feel sorry for Mr. Phil. I pity him. It's mortifying that he would do this, that he would dishonor himself. He, he would go from being honorable to dishonorable because he, he, he just had to lie to impress people. But, you know, some people have weak character, and, you know, that's, that's what he displayed. You know, he had to be a frigid airborne ranger, a veteran of the Cold War. I'm stealing jokes left and right from people on Twitter. Do credit to them. Uh, here's the thing, though. Here's who I don't forgive. I don't forgive the mainstream media. I don't forgive the lying liberal press because they went out and they enabled this garbage. Okay? Any veteran looked at this guy and goes, eh, I don't know. You might want to check. Ask this guy for his 214 because every vet has his 214. And if he says, well, you know, I can't find it, wah, 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 red alert. 
That's a trouble sign. Or, well, I was in a secret unit where they didn't give them out. Baloney! You, you, you know that's bogus. Now, we, 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 and I was actually in communication with liberal media, big paper uh, uh, guys, you know, military reporters. And I was going, you need to call him. Well, I, I can't, the shutdown doesn't let me get his paperwork. Call him, pick up the phone and call him, you're a reporter. Look, it's not like he's hard for the media to find. He's all over the news. Call him up, say, give me your DD-214 and let's see what happens. Maybe he is a recon ranger, whatever the hell that is. No, no, couldn't do it. And then, of course, civilian uh, uh, citizen journalists, well, not civilian in the sense that we're not in the military anymore. Citizen journalists uh, came out and, and the amateurs let the truth out. And the media was like two days behind. Media still defend. Well, you're, you're, you're pouncing on this poor man. And then they had to correct himself when we went on his Facebook feed and found him going, well, you know, when I was in Nam, it was hard. Oh, I guess he was lying about it. I guess, I guess going on to Facebook is too hard for the press. Our garbage media is garbage. So here's how it goes. I feel sadness and pity for Nathan Phillips because he couldn't be satisfied with the honorable service he provided when he wasn't going AWOL. Well. But for the mainstream media, I have nothing but contempt. This is Take That with Kurt Schwinn. If you like what you're seeing out here outside the paywall, go beyond. Take one step through the gate. Sign up with a rebel. You have access to all sorts of cool stuff. You'll love it. Now, my stuff is here, short, sweet, and outside the paywall, twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, right here. Mondays and Thursdays, you can read my town hall columns, which are lit, as the Kep kids say. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter, where I'm hassling mainstream media guys for being garbage people. And um, uh, you might want to check out my books. My nonfiction, Militant Normals, talks about everything that's going on. It's kind of fun. And my novel, Wildfire, it's exciting, it's funny, and it's exciting. See, that's two excitings. Well, thanks a lot for joining us, and I'll see you next time on Take That with Kurt Schlichter.